My area of expertise at General Physician is uh, that of an adult joint reconstructive surgeon, which means that I see patients who have very bad hips or knees or shoulders, and if the case be, I will reconstruct their hip or knee via a total knee or joint replacement, total shoulder replacement, or a total uh, hip replacement. I also provide uh, services for revision surgeries, which can be very complex. I have uh, certifications in revision surgery with specialized equipment. Uh, more recently, we were able to uh, be certified in uh, robotic surgery, which we we're trying to build on at uh, one of our hospitals, which is the cutting edge of orthopedic joint replacement surgery. We also have an incredibly gracious staff, a very understanding, and are very patient and compassionate. And I think that is one of the greatest things that a patient could see when they're having a problem and they feel very uncomfortable, we are there to make them comfortable. The reason I chose my specialty as partly being greatly influenced by my father who was a surgeon as well, um, is seeing the uh, satisfaction of a patient getting better. Um, medicine has many different parts. Uh, some doctors become internists, some doctors become surgeons. Uh, I like the combination of both, and I think that is what orthopedics offers. There's a lot of medicine involved. You have to be able to determine uh, the, the problem in the musculoskeletal system and be able to fix it. The difference being that in internal medicine, uh, it is still ongoing detective work. With orthopedics, you can see it, fix it, and pretty much has, you have an immediate result. When a patient comes to my office, there is no preparation. I would like them to be just very relaxed and comfortable. I want them to think that they're entering my home. I will make them feel that way. They can answer, uh, they can ask any questions they would like. I will answer to the best of my ability. And I will explain everything to you. And that is, I think, one of my trademarks. Uh, being able to explain something, I use uh, literature and models. Uh, and I let the patient hold the model to get an idea what this is all about with uh, a joint replacement or anything muscular. We have everything at hand that we need to help them uh, understand what's going on. And I always will say to them, before you de decide to have a surgery, make sure all of your questions are answered. I'm here for you. You can call me or call somebody in my office. We'll sit back down, bring family members in. We'll go over everything to make sure that you are satisfied. The other thing too I want patients to know is that um, I will see you before surgery. Uh, I talk to you, again, making you comfortable in the pre-holding area. And uh, I'll be the guy there afterwards to see you and make sure that you get through this very uh, safely. What determines whether a patient has surgery or not? I try to discuss the different options. Obviously, surgery is not always the way a patient wants to go because surgery is um, the unknown. Patients are very fearful of surgery. So I try to do a very gentle approach. Even physical therapy is a great option. Oral medications, you could try physiotherapy, you could try bracing. Um, and again, if all of those things fail, then surgery is an option. But more importantly, it's the patient's decision. I've never forced the patient to have surgery. I think that they usually come around themselves to understand that there is an issue and that this is not going to be resolved with just basic conservative uh, measures. Um, while surgery is a scary thing, um, the patients who have surgery afterwards usually say, why didn't I have this sooner? But that's where I come into play in communicating uh, that they can trust in me, that they can trust in our staff, they can trust in the hospital helping them.